today we will be learning about forever so this forever is equivalent to while one do you remember this while one it is an infinite loop okay if i write if i write while one then inside some statements then these statements run infinitely forever it runs forever okay so it is equivalent to while one and this loop doesn't contain any expression means if for example uh for in case of for loop what are, what we are writing i equal to 0 i less than something then i i equal to i, I plus 1 so there is some expression inside this parenthesis and this uh, for while loop for while loop also some expressions are written inside this parenthesis okay but in case of forever loop there is no expression written okay and it executes forever until this finish dollar finish task is encountered so this is a task this is a predefined task okay or we can say inbuilt task provided by your very log library so this that what you have to remember is there is no expression for this uh, it doesn't contain this loop doesn't contain this loop doesn't contain any expression and it executes forever until uh, the forever encounters a dollar finished task it can be exited by the use of disable statement or if you if you include a disable statement then your forever loop can be exited or your forever loop comes out from that uh, particular block okay for that we have to include disable statement it should be used in test bench code and not in module so normally this forever is not used uh, while designing a digital logic so we don't write forever for a module inside a module but it is normally written inside uh, it is used for test bench test bench writing okay it always occur within always an initial block task but cannot directly within a module means inside a initial or inside a all uh, always or inside a task we can have forever inside task we can have forever we can write forever inside always and inside initial block also we can write forever but not inside a module inside module normally we do not write forever loop okay but inside task inside always and inside this initial block it is allowed so this is one example uh, generating clock forever using this uh, forever loop so how to generate a clock this is a clock right so this is a uh, So initial begin clock equal to zero. The first one is clock equal to zero. This this one. So it is so it is initialized to zero. The first one is clock equal to zero. Then forever. Then begin. Then clock equal to inverted of clock. So this zero is inverted to one, and it is assigned to six. Uh, sorry, it is assigned to clock after six nanosecond. So this one is six nanosecond. After six nanosecond, it will be one. Okay. Then after four nanosecond, again this is inverted. So after four nanosecond, it will stay there for four nanosecond. Then it will be again inverted to zero. So it runs continuously forever. Begin it. It runs continuously. And what is the uh, time for this uh, single clock? And uh, this is a ten nanosecond. For this positive part, for this positive part, it is a four nanosecond. And for this negative part, means you are for zero for. Logic level low for six nanosecond. It is active for six nanosecond. This logic level low, and this logic one is active for four nanosecond. So it is an infinite loop. If you implement the same code in your simulator, then you can see this waveform. This waveform. Okay, I got this waveform. Okay, in model sim. So this is uh, this one is uh, four nanosecond. Sorry, this one is six nanosecond, and this one is four nanosecond. Okay, six six nanosecond. Four nanosecond. So this runs forever. Whatever is written, see, and what 
what is what has been mentioned here it doesn't contain any expression like uh, other loops like for loop and while loop so inside the there is no parenthesis see you can see here forever after forever there is a begin and end okay so there is no there is no parenthesis so there is no expression because there is no parenthesis no expression for forever loop so whatever we have to write inside the forever forever only we have to write there is no conditions because once forever loop is encountered then it runs continuously it runs forever okay so this is one example so another example is uh, generating clock forever this is another example okay so raise oscillate a module raise oscillate initial begin then we are initializing this oscillate signal to zero so first one will be zero and this zero will be for 30 nanosecond this zero will be for 30 nanosecond then it will oscillate to then it will be one then it will remain there for 30 nanosecond see this 30 nanosecond so this is a forever so this this gives you a a clock signal which runs forever and the duty cycle is 50 percent because this uh, the duty cycle means this duty cycle means this one means the positive part this uh, this uh, it is one for this it is one for 30 nanosecond and it is one for uh, sorry zero for 30 nanosecond so it is a 50 percent duty cycle means on time and off time you can say on time is on time equal to off time so on time equal to 30 nanosecond off time equal to 30 nanosecond so it is a, if if somewhere it is if you are asked to uh, generate a clock uh, which has 50 percent duty cycle then you can write write this code and you will get you will get this waveform okay so, 30, so if you want 40 40 nanosecond if it is 40 for uh, the on time 40 nanosecond off time 40 nanosecond you can write the just you change it here it is 40 if you want 50 then you just change it to 50 if it is 100 then you change it to 100 and oscillate equal to not oscillate and you can change your own signal here this because this is user defined signal it can be a b or clock whatever you want okay so this is another example generating clock forever okay and it is a 50 you, you remember this 50 percent duty cycle it is very uh, important because uh, in some of the interview they might ask you to generate a, a clock signal uh, of 50% uh, duty cycle or 30% duty cycle 40% duty cycle they might ask you okay so for example here on time on time is for 40 nano, uh, for 4 nanosecond and off time is 6 nanosecond so this is how the clock clock is generated here clock has been generated here it is on for 6 nanosecond sorry on for 4 nanosecond and off for 6 nanosecond so they might ask you for 10 nanosecond 10 nanosecond or 15 nanosecond 20 nanosecond 30 nanosecond 50 nanosecond okay so this is a forever loop then next one is counter with the disable block because if you remember this line here it can be this whenever there is a forever whenever whenever this forever is encountered it it runs infinitely okay so is there any way to exit from that loop yes there is a there is a way and what is that one either dollar finish you use the dollar finish or the disables there is a another predefined in built uh, this disable disable if you want if you include this disable statement then you can exit from that forever loop okay so this is one example of that one so this is a counter counter this is a count first counting value is uh, 101 this is 5 the initialization count value is 5 then forever at the pause edge of clock so every positive edge of clock the count will be increment to count next count so count equal to count plus one so five then six then seven then eight then every time it will check because count equal to count plus one then if count greater than 67 till 66 till 66 it will work if count greater than six, it will there will be increment once it will be 67 one it will be 67 then what will happen this line this line will be activated this disable block this disable statement will be activated so once it will be 67 so when it is greater than 67 when for 67 it's okay means 5 to 67 it will count okay so when it will be greater than 67 so this line will be activated and this this will be exited this block will be exited this one see begin equal to block one you remember this one see here it is a begin equal to block one so this is this block this is the 
this block this block starts from this begin to this end so once this statement is false this condition is false this count is gr greater than 67 means 68 one count will be 68 then disable block one and this block will be disabled and inside this block forever is there so forever won't run again okay so there then next is end module so in this way you can exit from this forever loop okay but you have to remember this one begin colon block one it is allowed it is allowed in very log in this way okay begin this is a naming block we can say okay uh, begin uh, colon block one then disable block one okay then this block will be exited once the condition is not met and this is the waveform view okay this is counting uh, 0 to uh, sorry 5 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 it is it is counting okay it is counting uh, it, it will count till uh, 67 then 68 it will exit from the group it will e exit from the block okay so this is very helpful one uh, to exit from your forever loop that uh, you should remember this one and this is the oxalate one you remember this one this oxalate uh, this 50% uh, duty cycle uh, this is this is the waveform view okay for this one this code this code this code this is the waveform view this one and if you write if you write all this code whatever code has been written here then you will get the same result okay because this this is the tested code i have tested this one in a model sim simulator okay so i hope that you learned uh, this uh, details in details about this forever loop and how to exit from the forever loops and how to generate a clock of different different duty cycles and using the forever loop so if you like the content then please press the like button then subscribe this channel and thank you so much for watching